folks, welcome back to the channel. First off, I need a cup of coffee. Hey folks, well, welcome back in my house. Um, so thank you guys, first of all, thank you guys so much for your support on my email. You guys have been emailing me, um, questions about the Dynon products, about Avidyne. I've been getting back to you with the right answers. Um, and if I don't know the answer, I will definitely find, find it for you. So any questions you have on anything, um, palettefun101 at gmail.com. And also, Thank you for your support on Facebook. Facebook is, I can't believe it, is almost approaching 15,000 followers on my Facebook page at Pilot Fund 101. That is pretty cool. And thank you for that. And I also have Instagram, finally, Pilot Fund 101 as well. You can find me on that. So I haven't flown November 6, 8, 8, 7 November in a while. It's been about two months. You know, really since this epi you know, pandemic, uh, the COVID-19 has began. Um, and it's been at Mortar Aviation. Um, it's still there. Um, they were actually on a standstill for a couple weeks because of the COVID-19. The state kind of shut them down working on GA airplanes. So now they're kind of back in business and hopefully I get my airplane back in a few weeks. I pray I'll get it back in a few weeks. So I'm working on that. So I decided to do a video on a couple things here. Uh, number one, I gotten some emails about, you know, why is there aviation and people flying? You know what you know what, what's going on right now with the COVID-19 uh, you know why are you guys not grounded I've gone back to these folks and we explained it explained it to them we went back and forth a little bit nothing bad we both agreed that we were fine with our answers and I understand it so this COVID-19 thing really kind of divided us in half of what is really going on in the country and everybody is really sensitive right now and I get it I get it 100%. We're all going through this together, and I understand 100%. But the question is, should we be flying? Should general aviation airplanes fly? Should we be flying? Some reasons why we shouldn't be flying, some reason why we should be flying, and I'm also to explain what can we do to meet in the middle with people that are complaining about GA flying? What's a good balanced mix of the two? So if you want to put your, your thoughts in the comment, I'd like to see who, 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 you know, people think what their opinion is on flying, you know, put that in the comments and we guys have your own conversation and talk about it. That'll be great as well. Just so everybody's on the same page and we kind of express each other why we shouldn't be, why we should be, what is the middle? What can we do to put this in the middle? Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, right now in the United States and in New York State, that's where I live in New York State, there is no legal reason why we shouldn't be flying. Um, there's no law that I know of that says GA pilots cannot be flying. You guys are grounded. That is not out there from my understanding as of right now. The local laws that are out there for, you know, closing down parks, you know, baseball games, basketball games, you know, football games is really, they're trying to keep those group of people to not be in a group and social distance from each other. And that's why a lot of local laws, they've kind of closed down parks, basketball courts, parks, to try to keep people away from each other and just to stay home. And that gets a lot of people fired up. And again, I understand both sides of it, folks. I really do. So legally speaking, I don't see anything out there from the FAA, from local law, state laws that are grounding general aviation airplanes. So that's the reason why we can fly right now. So why do people think we shouldn't be flying? Well, it's an unnecessary risk. Um, it's an unnecessary risk if you get hurt. Um, if you get hurt or you go down in a populated area, if you're doing maneuvers, you have an accident, you take out somebody's house, um, you know, we're going to really put a lot of pressure on the healthcare system. Uh, and people were saying that. Um, 
you're, you know, people were kind of stuck inside. They're getting really sensitive. You know, why do I see airplanes flying around? Um, that's not fair. How come I can't do what I want to do? Um, why do I have a social distance from everybody else? Why can't I play basketball, football, et cetera, et cetera? Um, and, you know, it causes complaints from the local police departments or, or local airports. It causes a lot of problems. Um, and again, I can understand that. Why should we be flying? Well, it, it's not an unnecessary risk. Um, general aviation and aviation in general is still the safest way to travel in the United States between cars, motorcycles, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, people are having accidents every day in this country. Um, people are having heart attacks. People are having, you know, uh, breaking a leg, an arm, and the, the the healthcare system is still able to take care of those people. And since aviation's accident ratio uh, percentage across the country is very, very slim, um, that if you do, God forbid, have an accident, you're not going to um, strain, put a strain on the healthcare system right now going through this COVID-19. Um, so I understand that part of it uh, as well. You're, we're not going to spread the COVID-19 virus. Um, that's another uh, email I've gotten. Uh, you know, we're not six feet away from each other. We're thousands of feet away from each other and a thousands of feet away from the ground. Um, so we're not spreading it at all. And so if you have a, somebody else going with you in the airplane with you, hopefully you're taking safety precautions, wear masks, or if you know that person's been quarantined, you're fine. If you, if you live with that person and they've been in your presence and you know they ain't going anywhere, you're fine. Um, and you're flying around, you're going from your house to the airport, to your hangar, to the tie down, if you have a tie down or a hangar, uh, whatever you do, and you're taking off. Uh, the only thing I can see maybe spreading the virus would be at the fuel pumps. If you're touching the handle and don't touch the handle you know, without glove or without uh, a, a towel of some sort. Um, but other than that, I don't see a risk of spreading the virus. I don't see a risk of putting a strain on the healthcare system as general aviation pilots who are flying around. And I just don't see it. Um, and, you know, the reason why, again, they're putting a squash to football, baseball, basketball, uh, other outside sports, because you have to have a team to get together and play those sports. And that's really not social distancing. You don't know where these 30, 20, 10 people were next night, where they've been, and now you're playing basketball, baseball with them, touching different things, and that continues to spread um, the virus. And that's the kind of reason why Dave's kind of shut those things down. So what is the middle uh, end here? What is the middle to this? What can we do to smooth it out? Um, what's the middle ground? What can we do? Um, well, me, my opinion would be, you know, don't do an IFR flight plan, just do practices in the clouds, the rain. If you're going somewhere just to mess around, um, don't do maneuvers uh, if you don't have to. Uh, you know, don't do steep turns, S turns, stalls. You know, don't do an ILS approach if it's cloudy out, and it's raining out, if it's windy. Uh, you know, don't practice any of that stuff. ILS approaches, uh, RNAV approaches, um, VOR approaches. You know, if it's bad weather out, don't go flying. Whether you're IFR or not, don't go flying. Um, if it's nice out, try to do maneuvers. Try not to do stalls. Try, don't make the risk. Don't make your risk higher to have an accident if you don't have to. Um, we can meet that in the middle. Everybody, I'm sure, agrees to that. On nice days like today, it's really nice out. Um, today is a good day to go flying. You know, point A to point B, or just point A back to point A back to point A again. We usually do that. We go up. Go in circles, right? And then land again, or the touch and goes, stuff like that on a nice day. There's no risk, um, you know, in any of that stuff. Uh, so that we can kind of meet in the middle with that, you know. Um, the other thing would be to try to go flying by yourself. Again, unless you know the person you're taking is clean, who's been living with you, uh, who's been quarantined with you. That's, a, that's another lesser of a risk taking somebody you already know that's not affected with the virus um, who's been with you for 14 plus days. So yeah, just go up, have fun, come on down, you know, and land, put the plane away. Again, now you're going from your, from your hangar, your tie down to your car back home again. Vice versa when you're going to the airport, 
to your car, to the airport, to the hangar, or tie down to your airplane and taken off. Again, the only thing to watch out for is the fuel pump. We never had this type of virus before that's affecting people the way it's affecting people. Um, and so everybody is on edge. Everybody is getting upset. But nobody should be hating on anybody who has their opinion on what should we be doing, what should we not be doing. Um, and that's where people kind of get back and forth, whether it be on Facebook, whether it be any other social media outlets, email, whatever. Um, so you have your opinion, you know, everybody again is upset with this. Hopefully it blows over within a few months or sooner. Um, we can only hope and, but don't hate on anybody for their opinion. Um, and hopefully you guys won't hate on me with this, with this video, uh, with my opinions here and I won't do, do that in return. I understand, um, what, what you're saying about GA pilots. I understand. You know, but I also understand why you can't have a, a football team together, a baseball team together, a basketball team together, why you can't hike in, hike in groups, why parks are closed. Um, I understand that as well. Because those type of sports, you have, you don't have really social distancing at all. And that's what the country and the states are trying to avoid right now. But we will get through this. So stay safe, stay positive, um, and we will get through this again. So if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. Any questions you have, don't hesitate to email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook. Again, almost 15,000 followers. And Instagram, I'm fine on Instagram at pilotfun101. Like always, folks, fly safe, be safe. Till next time, I'll see you.